do entrepreneurs um, assess when it's the right time to sell their startup? And what factors kind of go into that decision? Yes, and that's really when you enter the short game, as I just mentioned. So um, ideally, the right time to sell is when you don't have to sell. <laughs> so it's very paradoxical, but that's when you get the best outcome. You know, if you have multiple viable options, that's when you have leverage. So one viable option, as we had in uh, my uh, second startup, Webs, was that we were cash flow break even. If you can achieve that, you don't have a gun to your head that you have to sell immediately. Then you can turn around to an acquirer or potential interested party and say, hey, look, love to work with you guys, love to join forces, but we are heads down executing. If you can make us an offer that we can't refuse or an offer that stops us in our tracks, we're happy to entertain it, right? So you want to have it to be in that leverage position. Uh, the other one is, of course, if you have multiple acquirers, that gives you leverage. If you have investors wanting to invest in you, that again, the key here is having viable alternatives, not just going out of business as an alternative, but viable, good alternatives. That That's a great time. Now, there are a couple of ingredients that have to come together for an acquisition uh, to, to actually come to fruition. One is that you have to be willing to sell. And uh, you, not just the founder, but actually your team, your leadership, your key stakeholders, your board, you all need to be aligned. So you need to kind of bring everyone along the journey and make sure everyone is ready to kind of Put, uh, support you in that. Uh, the other one is that you have to have willing buyers. Again, you need to cultivate that uh, willingness and relationship over time. And you, there needs to be a set of terms that everyone can agree to. For these three to coincide, for it to be the right time to sell, it takes a lot of work. It takes uh, a set of circumstances coming together. There are a lot of positives to selling. There are, of course, always negatives to selling. And each entrepreneur, each startup, would evaluate the pros and cons differently. I lay them out in the book um, as a starting point as to, hey, what are the things that other people consider in support or against selling their startup? But again, uh, each, each team would have to evaluate those differently based on how they assess risks, how they assess opportunities, what their mission is, how they think they can best fulfill that mission. 